Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I just wanted to do some food reviews on the different meals that Ujamaya has. I'll show you the different ones. I don't think I'm going to have like the ramen and all that. Just show the basics. So here we go. Let's start off with breakfast because I haven't had the spam eggs and rice. This is like a classic uh, different like read areas i know for a fact filipinos do this kind of dish and i feel like also hawaiians so you know let's try this thank goodness it's still a little warm the eggs look like it's scrambled with a little green onion oh goodness sounds good so let's grab a piece of Rice is good, egg is good, still warm. This was this is really just some comfort. I've had this numerous times of some kind of capacity, like we cook it at home before. Real good. I could knock that out easily. Next one I'm gonna try is the Onigiri, it's pretty much a rice bowl and the way to do it, maybe I'll show you another video, but pull it to the sides. I'm not the best at it and you're supposed to just, it's supposed to just come together, like form the triangle around. Oh, and I already broke it. Oh no, hold on. Let's see if I can save it. I don't think I can. Oh, it's breaking apart. <clears throat> I failed epically. This is a salmon one. Oh, it broke. Oh, it'll still taste good. Simple. Very simple. The salmon piece is wrapped up. This one's a, uh, I can't pronounce it, mantakyu. It has, um, mantako looks like water, mayonnaise, sauce, polek, roux, roux, starch, piece. Let's see. The struggle is real. Uh, I don't think I did it right again. Let me get some 101 on it. Oh wait, no, I think I did it right. Then you take it out and then you put it into the triangle and wrap it. Yeah, I definitely did not do it right again. <sighs> Epic fail. Let's check. Try it. Wow. It's not over. That's a good kick. The road, the texture doesn't throw you off at all. It blends well with the rice. Wow. I'm going to give the salmon a slight leaf, but bro, I need a drink, this raspberry one, Funkosaurus, I know he's on that Naruto bench right now watching Shippuden, so this is, if you never had it, pretty much you have that and you're just going to push it in, you're going to use this top, another video I can make. So pretty much you want to take out the It's been a while since I've done it. Oops, there we broke broke through it. So you want to just take that top and you just need to push really, really hard. Let's see if I can angle it right. 
Oh, need to work out more. There we go. Fizzes, that ball goes through. Boom. That hurt my arm a little bit. <laughs> blue as it looks like a blue bear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A little too much fizzle. It's good. It's good. All right. Got their sal uh, sushi. Looks like it comes with wasabi, some ginger, oh, soy sauce. Got different ones. I wanted just a salmon, really. But it does not look. This wasabi packet, I don't remember real little. This is the one we bought in like a bottle. Let's see how it is. Don't want too much. I'm just going to try the salmon one. A little wasabi, no soy sauce. And I forgot to grab chopsticks, so. Looks like it's actually a two, not one. Let's go. Wasabi just hit my nostril. It seems like similar to like the ones that other grocery stores do. The fresh fish is a little more fresh. This is salmon one. That fish quality is way, way nicer. I'm just gonna try one of these. So it's like a Okazem pine. It reminds me of like a, what is it was called? Of, or I'll try both of them. There's a beef one. I'll just maybe take a bite of each. But this is chicken teriyaki. It reminds me of those potato croquettes that they have. Let's try this. Maybe it should be warmed up, but it's not. It's good. This is jerk chicken. So it's pretty much like a wrap. You, the, the potato feeling is good. If you like putting an air fryer, I think it would be really good because you're just making it crispy again. That one is good too. This raspberry is hidden. What else? I prefer the chicken teriyaki, but the jerk has some nice taste. Got this pork. I guess this one would be good too. This sells when this is hot and warm. My friend gets like pounds of this. Really good. Spam Negriri. I think it's very similar to a Spam Musubisi. Hit that. It's like a, just a good sear. Maybe there is. Yep, there's sauce underneath. I don't know how easy it is to cook stand, um, this one. So, and then the chicken katsu. Just gonna try a little. Let's try the chicken cat. 
tonkatsu. Comes with like broccoli, some radish, and then some dipping sauce. Not dipping sauce. This is like a sweet sauce. It just exemplifies the flavor. A little soggy because maybe I should have. Mmm. Mm-hmm. These are, excuse me. These are freshly made when I was there, so they were preparing it. Again, if you go too early, not everything's gonna be out, but if you wait, they open at eight o'clock and around eight, I was there about from 8.30 to nine, more of the stuff came out. So I'm really happy about that to try it. Really good, really good. Rice is good for like a, you know, storage one. Look at that. And let's see if there's a good crunch still. ASMR right here. Can you hear that? Definitely worth it. So guys, that was called Ujamaya again. It's located in Bellevue. Not Bell. There's one in Seattle. That's the big main one. Renton, I heard it's a little bigger than Bellevue where they have one as well. Other two locations, I don't think offer as much as what the one in Seattle does because of size, of course. But definitely try. It is on the pricier side of like certain stuff. You can definitely find foods that are cheaper. But I think for the what you're looking for, like quality wise and the convenience, it's just simple convenience getting these kind of full meals ready made. I definitely would try it out. If there's an Ujamaya around you, I would try it out. It's it's a game changer in my opinion. But as always, I hope you like this video. Definitely subscribe, share this video. And as always, take care and God bless. To the next one. Go Prince. Let's go. Oh. Sorry about that.